amazing sightings of them um, lounging and we've also got a little hyena that's just joined us as well. Herbie's just telling me that there's a hyena just off to our side here. I can't see it myself, but Herbie says it's just coming through the bush. Now, let's see what happens, because it'll be interesting. If the hyena is rocked up here, potentially maybe there's food somewhere close by. I did check the trees, and I haven't seen any sign of a carcass. But maybe if she's lying here, there is a carcass still on the ground, and that's why the hyena is coming in. I don't see where that hyena went, but it is just lurking off to the side here, which is incredible. So we've got leopard and hyenas on foot, and isn't that absolutely amazing so really really cool to find them and like I say finding animals on foot is always the best best thing it's one of my favorite favorite things to do and especially with leopards you can see she's just watching us she's not too perturbed at all all legs are still draped over that branch and they are absolutely loving this little bit of Sun that's come out she looks really so beautiful in that tree and it's a good spot that tree is quite a distance away and Herbie spotted her from quite far away so just confirming again his black belt in tracking skills really really well done to Herbie now like I say I've been looking around trying to see if there's any sign of Karula or Hosanna but I don't see either of them I would imagine they must be close by their tracks are all here so just checking all the other Marulas around but it just looks like her and like I say you couldn't have asked for a better branch for her to have positioned herself in she's sitting right out in the open facing the Sun it really is quite a spectacular sighting now the belly on her doesn't look too full either so I don't know if maybe Karula just came to check in and see what they were doing but generally when they lead them like this it's normally to try and uh, bring them towards a carcass so you can see she's just opened her eyes there for a little bit and then back to sleep she's gone again and it's absolutely amazing how relaxed she really is you often find with leopards that on foot you'll get to this sort of distance and they generally come straight down the tree and find some sort of cover to be able to um, hide in and, and to watch you from there but she just doesn't care. I mean, we saw with Brent earlier in the week how he was able to get right up near her and be able to spend a whole afternoon with her just lounging around, which is really quite incredible. And then again, yesterday, um, Jamie found Hosanna and he was fairly cooperative too. So it's incredible to see how these little cubs have grown up and gotten used to people on foot and habituated to that and that they are not worried in the slightest. Now, Karula is a little bit different. She doesn't really allow this too much. She'll, normally, you'll get to a certain point and she'll then come down and move off. Um, and there's only probably one other leopard that I've spent time around that is like this. And her name is Salahesh. She's a leopard to the west of us. She's also like this. She doesn't mind too much people on foot. And she'll watch you in the same way that little Shongile is watching us now, which is pretty cool.